y'all, it's Thomasina. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thanks for tuning in. Is my face a little bit ashy? Hold on, I'm gonna go get some lotion. Oh wait, I have lotion right here. <laughs> so if you've watched a few of my videos and you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm always looking for ways to save money. But I also like to treat myself sometimes too often and I do enjoy the more luxurious things in life. One of my luxuries or something that I consider a luxury is getting manicures and pedicures every two weeks and obviously if you get your nails done you know that that adds up you know the saying if you want something done right you might as well do it yourself so that's what I'm doing I went on Amazon and found all the supplies that I would need to give myself a professional gel manicure and gel pedicure and today I am showing you guys everything that I bought and walking you all through the process of how I get the perfect looking gel manicure and gel pedicure right at home and hopefully it'll save you some money in the future too so let's jump right into it in New York I pay about $35 for a gel manicure and $35 to $45 for a pedicure depending on which treatment I get so I thought to myself you know what? I could do my own nails. Like, you guys are charging me upwards of $100 to do my nails, and sometimes it doesn't even turn out the way I want it. So there were a lot of gel manicure kits on Amazon, but I went with this one. I think it was about $35. Don't quote me on the price. I'm just going to tag um, everything that I bought in the description. But this is the Vilshore Professional Nail Lamp. It's the UV light that helps solidify the gel, and this is the way that the gel polish won't come off. Oh, it comes with a warranty. So it comes with the actual lamp. It comes with the plug-in cord. I'm gonna plug it into the back of the lamp here. Bada boom, bada bang. So the one thing I can already say about this one is the cord is so short. Oh, oh okay. So 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and 120 seconds. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited to use this. Okay, pretty self-explanatory, really simple to use, it seems like. So there's no off button necessarily on this lamp, so if you're not using it, you would just unplug it, and that powers the lamp down, and then when you plug it up, oh, oh, automatic. You put your hand in and it goes in automatically. It also came with this bag of nail polish. They have the base coat. They do have the color written on the bottom of the box just because you can't see but I'll just open one up so you can see. They said this one is chocolate but on camera it looks purple and in person it looks kind of purple too but I guess it will change once you actually put it on your nails. So it came with the base coat and the top coat and five different nail colors. So even if you're just starting out and you can't necessarily afford to get an entirely different like case of colors, at least th with this kit, you start off with the basic colors. So you'll already have some colors to play around with. Also with this kit, it came with the tools needed to actually like shape and file your nails as well. And then it came with some alcohol pads. It came with this lovely nail buffer and they have the little brush thingy to brush like the nail dust off your nails. Another nail file, a design brush, but like with a wider tip. I had never seen a cuticle cutter like this until I ordered the kit. They also included this, which I assume is like a design pen. You see the little ball point at the tip. Last but not least, we have the cuticle pusher, which I'm also going to be using to scrape the gel off my nails. That is everything that came in the Vilshore kit. Now we're going to move on to the things that I bought separately just because I felt like I would need it. I got this Sally Hansen Vitamin E Cuticle and Nail Oil. Next up is the Pumice Stone. This is for callus removal, making sure your heels and your feet are nice and smooth. The reviews were kind of different. Some people were saying, oh, like that's not a pumice stone. Clearly this is really just styrofoam. It is not pumice at all. So that's false advertising, but like some people said that it worked for them and some people said that it just fell apart like as soon as they use it so I bought a 10 pack of nail buffers and then it also came with four of the shiny nail buffers last but not least I am extra so I bought additional nail colors just because I like to change my nail colors a lot however as a model we usually have to keep boring nail colors like this the colors that came in the actual Bill Shore like 
lamp kit they were more so like neutral tones like kind of like fall colors and this kit has more colorful springtime colors which is usually what I prefer to get on my nails also I didn't even realize but this kit actually comes with the normal top coat and base coat and it comes with a matte coat as well so if you're one of those people who likes like the matte finish this kit might be for you I also purchased 100% acetone although I already had nail polish remover you really need 100% acetone to make sure you're really getting the gel nail polish off nail polish remover is not really going to work i actually went back and ordered these nail clips that make it easier for the acetone to soak on your nails instead of using aluminum foil so yeah that's everything that i purchased in order to complete my gel manicure and pedicure at home so now let's get into the process of how i achieve my at home gel manicure i start by filing off the top shiny coat of my current gel set to allow the acetone tone to penetrate through when it's time to soak the gel polish off. It will make the removal process a lot easier. Once I've fouled off the top coat, I prepare my slips of aluminum foil that I will use to wrap the cotton balls with acetone around my nails. I've ordered nail clips since recording this video so I won't be using aluminum foil anymore, but another option is to just soak your nails in a bowl of acetone. Next, I soak the cotton balls in acetone, place the cotton ball on my nail, and then wrap the aluminum foil around my nail to hold the cotton ball in place. After about 10 to 15 minutes, take the foil and cotton ball off one of your nails and use the cuticle pusher to scrape your nail and see if the gel comes off easily. As you can see, my gel did not come off as easily as I had hoped. If that happens to you, just use the nail file to file off some of the extra polish and soak your nails in acetone for another 8 to 10 minutes. Once I've gotten most of the gel polish off my nails, I'm going to wipe my nails with alcohol to start with a clean base. Then I'm going to go in with the cuticle pusher. This step is optional, but I find it makes it easier to trim my cuticles and gives my manicures a cleaner look. When trimming your cuticles, I recommend soaking your nails in warm water to soften the area. My cuticles were pretty much dry by this point and trimming dry cuticles makes it more likely that you will cut yourself like I did. My nails are pretty thin and not the healthiest at this point, so I'm going to start fresh and cut them down a bit. Then I file them until they are all even. I prefer a square round shape, but mostly square. Now that my nails are somewhat even, I'm going to wipe them off with alcohol again to make sure I get all of the stray dust off. You want to start by painting your nails with the base coat that comes in the kit. Place your nails under the lamp for 60 seconds and then go in with the first coat of the color you've chosen. If you've colored outside of the lines, try to clean it up as best you can before putting your nails back under the light. Once you've cleaned it up, place your nails back under the light for 120 seconds and repeat the same process for your second coat. Make sure you paint the edge of your nails too. And here's the finished product of my at-home pedicure. Don't even make fun of my toes. You guys, look how messy my nails look when you get really close. Like, they look so messy. Granted, this is my first time ever attempting a gel manicure, so of course it's not going to be perfect. I mean, I think I did pretty well for my first time, but this is what they look like. It's kind of like a baby blue type color let's just say i have a newfound respect for nail text because you guys that that was tougher than i thought it honestly was tougher than i thought although the steps to a gel manicure and pedicure are pretty much like straightforward i guess the precision and like having steady hands definitely plays a role in how easy it is to accomplish this the hardest part for me was getting 
paint along the edge of your nail. I know you're supposed to do that because it makes your gel manicures last longer so there's not really any chipping or peeling. So I had a really get difficult time getting along the edges just because my nails are shorter now. I had to cut my nails shorter because they were so thin guys like they were literally like paper. Also another thing that was difficult for me was the removing of the gel so like the acetone did help but i don't know if i didn't file through the barrier enough or yeah not really sure what i did wrong but it was really really hard to get that gel off i honestly didn't even get all of it off if you notice in the video there was still like some pink or like nude color left on my nail but i painted over it so you can't see if you guys have any tips on how to remove gel in an easier way please comment down below because i don't want to be like damaging my nails in the process i don't want to have super super thin nails so yeah that's definitely another thing that i want to improve on but ultimately i finished i'm pleased with the finished product although buying this kit and buying everything you need to do your nails saves you money you really want to factor in the amount of time it will take you to do both your uh, feet and your nails this took me about four and a half hours granted attempting to film the entire process really took up a lot of my time so I think ultimately if I were to just do this on a regular regular day it would probably take me like an hour and a half to two hours to complete this look which is honestly not that bad when compared to going to the nail salon once you factor in the time that you have to wait if there's a wait at the nail salon before you actually get in the chair and then factor in the time it takes for them to do both your hands and your feet so I think that's pretty much the same amount of time but except you don't have to pay for it so all in all i think it's super beneficial i'm super satisfied with the products again i will link everything that i purchased in the description so be sure to check it out this is probably the most awful tutorial on the internet on how to do this but i wanted to give you guys a perspective of someone who's not a professional at all someone who's never done it before so if i can do it you can definitely do it so yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you in the next one Cause I'm not just a pretty girl I'm more than just a pixel